Hello everyone, welcome back to Pouring My Art Out. We're going to try some calla lilies again. And do a little bit different colors. Already mixed up my resin and it's nice and warm. So, and we're also going to try to do uh, a couple different kind of blooms in here just to fill up the space because I can't put all calla lilies in here there's just not enough room so we're going to try some smaller blooms as well don't know what it's going to look like I haven't tried it <clears throat> but anyway uh, I am going to give this a little spray though and pour don't need a whole lot Just enough to cover. Let's see how that goes. A little more. Right, that should be good. stick off get my drips all right now I'm gonna mix up my white and I am going to um, use some of my interference gold in my white I just love that look sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't but we're gonna try the heck out of it all right, just about that much. I have about an ounce, maybe an ounce and a half in here. I have more white than I do for my other color because of the other blooms. All right, we're going to do two drops of the ocean white. to see how that looks And I can just see my stick through it. So I'm going to do another small drop. Drop, drop, drop. It's not dropping. There we go. I put it on my stick. I didn't want to come off. That's better. Not as opaque as I usually do. It's still pretty opaque. There we go. We're going to put that in our piping bag. And we are going to go ahead and pipe our white, and then we will mix up our blue. It's actually a chameleon powder, which I have not tried before. It's blue, purple, and red for the centers. 
gonna have my yellow for my uh, little pistols. I guess that's what they're called. I'm gonna cut some of this off. And cut my tip. Stop pouring out. Okay. So we are going to start here. And then go to this one. And then this one. And this one. And then we're going to make smaller ones. In those other spaces. Then I'm going to do a swirl in the middle. <clears throat> okay. Now let's mix up our other color. It's this gorgeous blue. Look at that. Now, I have not used this before. I've certainly not used the chameleon powder in this particular bloom. Got some blobs going on there, guys. I want to make sure this gets mixed up really good, though. Wow, that's pretty. Now I'm going to fix some blobs because this is really bugging me here. This is bugging me. These are kind of bugging me. I dig one. Oh my goodness. The first drop was terrible. Alright, now let's do our blue. Let scissors go. Can you see how pretty that is? Hopefully it does well. All right. 
and we're just going to start in all my centers. One gigantic one there, guys. And we're going to do a little bit in the center also. Okay. And now, before I put those in, I better do that now. No, I wait. Um, I'm going to pull from the center all the way through so that everyone can join in the fun. do our little pistols. I'm using a yellow um, pigment ink. So hopefully that works. Bright yellow. Hard to mix it up with one of these, especially in these cups. Okay, come on. All right. We're just going to do drops. I hope they go where they're supposed to. Well, that one didn't. It's okay, I was going to do drops around the center anyway. away so I'm getting it everywhere it's 
see, everyone has it. Yep. They have joined the party. Okay. Do some drops. Here and there. Okay. I think that's it. Now I just wait. I don't want to spray. I don't want a torch. I don't really want to do anything. I don't see any bubbles. And it is starting to bloom. Which is always a good sign, y'all. I got a mess to clean up. And we'll be back with an update. See you soon. Hey everyone, welcome back. Cured. This was uh, what I did with some extras. And this, of course, is the back. And I'm mad because it's prettier in the front, I can see. <laughs> but it's so thin that I have to do something. <clears throat> I seriously thought about using just a clear coat then catching it in time to make a bowl. But that side would be pretty as a bowl as well. So, um, I'm torn. This one I'm not happy with. It didn't bloom correctly. It did bloom some. But I can also look at the back of this and it's ugly. It's ugly. But I'm going to back it anyway. And again, hopefully I catch it in time to still form it into a bowl because this is cured but it is pliable so if i catch this uh black layer i can still make a bowl out of these now what would be pretty is a bowl and then something to set it on so you know what i'm gonna do this clear because i do really like the way that looks and I wish you could see the shimmer and the sparkle in there from the mica powder. But anyway, so that's what we're going to do. And I hope I mixed up enough resin because we're going to do this one first. This is just the clear because y'all talked me into it. And again, I'm not filling it up. Um, I'm just going to push that all the way in. But, I, you know, I don't want to waste resin because I'm not happy with either one of these. But I'm certainly not going to throw them away. And put a little bit more in this one. All right. And I'm going to mix up my black. I'm just using this uh, Deco Art acrylic paint. Makes a really shiny black. I have not made a decent bloom in a very long time. Um, and I don't know why. I think it's because the air runs so cold in here. And... You know, my resin heats up by the time I'm done pouring it, it's cold again. And uh, so it's not giving my balloons enough time to go anywhere because it's getting cold. So I think that is the problem. At least that's what I'm blaming it on because everything else, I'm, you know, I'm doing the same as I always did. And I've had some beautiful balloons before. But we're just going to try, try, and try again. All right. There goes the black. Oh, 
This one's a little more full. This is the one I'm going to try to make a bowl out of, I guess. And this one's going to be a plate to put the bowl on. So it'll be a nice little set for somebody. There you go. I really like this. I, I did a dirty pour with it. Um, first I poured my yellow in the center. Then I used the rest of my white. Poured it over the yellow. Of course the yellow spread out. And then um, the blue. And then I did a push with the rest of my resin. Um, by that time the resin was pretty thick. So uh, it, it again did not have the time to go underneath the white and the yellow. So that made that weirdness on the back. But this side is pretty. So, I consider myself lucky I have one pretty side. Okay, guys. We're just going to wait for these to semi-cure. And then uh, see if we can't get them molded. See you soon. Hello, everyone. Time to demold. Yes, I didn't come back to the studio because I fell asleep. So these are what they are. This one I'm okay with. So let's do this one first. Because this side is pretty. So it makes a pretty little tray or candle holder or candle stand. Whatever. So it's pretty. Let me get a good look at the back of it though. So that's that one. And the back is not horrid. Not as pretty as the front, though. I like the front. There you go. And you can just put your little candle on there. Pretty, pretty. This one, not thrilled about. I'm mad. And it, it is still bendy, but it's definitely no way to make a bowl out of that. It's just too cured. So, let's see what we got. I don't know. I don't think it's going to be pretty at all. And, actually, it's not bad, guys. That is not bad. The black background saved it. It's not beautiful. But it's not bad. It's not garbage. Oh, and it's so shiny. Can you guys see the sparklies? It's very shiny. Okay, so uh, not horrible. Not horrible, guys. I can see a lot of the gold. And then that beautiful blue chameleon powder. And it is changing colors from purple to blue. I don't see any red. Um... But I definitely see the gold. And my yellow turned green. So that kind of looks like greenery or leaves. So, okay. Not as bad as I thought it was going to be. All right. So there you have them. All in all, not bad. I will see you guys next time. I was going to... Um, crawl in a corner and cry for a little bit, but they're not bad. <laughs> Let me work on something else, but I am going to try this again. Maybe not in this mold. I don't know if a round mold will work. I don't know, but I just love these calla lilies, and uh, I did make one of these that came out really pretty, and then another one that came out pretty, and then this one. So, the third time was not a charm. Maybe the fourth time will be. All right, guys. I'll see you all soon. Take care.